Well, hi everyone, this is Super Chicken Wing from Party Cats. And this video is something I wanted to do on the three year anniversary, but I decided I decided to just do it now. This video is going to be called The Story of Party Cats. Yeah, it's been practically two months since we uploaded anything. April first was our intro and um it was supposed to be for the April hype and we never had that April hype and yeah, so I decided that I really want to update everyone, but I decided to do it in a more special way by doing this video that I had an idea for. I don't remember when I thought of it. It wasn't that long ago, I don't think, but I don't think I thought of it that long ago. But it's something really interesting that I really wanted to do, so um, hopefully this is good and stuff. So yeah, um, for this story is going to be basically, it's not really any special milestone, it's just an update really, but also... Yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So in this story, I'm going to tell pretty much, like, well, not the whole thing, because we can't say too much personal stuff, but I am going to tell you how we got into video games and how we started our channel and all that good stuff. So, um, starting at the beginning. Okay, so I don't remember the exact year that this happened, but, so my mom took me to her friend's house and her friend had two sons, and one of them had a Game Boy Advance SP. And I don't remember if this was my first experience with video games or not. I don't remember if I played computer games before that. I probably played like Disney games or something, I don't know. The games I remember playing on it, I don't actually remember what they were. I thought I remembered one called Pac-Man, but it wasn't actually Pac-Man, like not the yellow muncher thing. But I thought I remembered a game called Pac-Man, with a K, that was about like an actual guy, an adventurer guy. I don't know, if my memories are probably really skewed because it's been so long, but even back then I thought I remembered it being an adventurer guy named Pac-Man. So, like, even when I was a kid I still remembered it being like that. And, like, I don't know, I'm confused. But, um, another, another, um, game I remember playing, it was like a really fast game, I don't know if it was Sonic, it might have been Sonic, but... But, I don't know if I actually played that or just watched watched him play it. But, um, those are the only two games I remember. Like, the, the really fast game, like, you think you're running through a city or something, I don't know. And it was really cool or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so... And then, so, basically, um, ever since then... I wanted a Game Boy Advance SP for Christmas. Also, by the way, this this kid said that he wanted really wanted to get the DS because at this point it must be when the DS was new, it was like really new or something. I asked for a Game Boy Advance SP for Christmas, and in Christmas 2007, I got a Nintendo DS Lite, <laughs> which is actually better because you can play DS and Game Boy games on it. I don't actually own any Game Boy games on the DSs, like. I don't own any Game Boy cartridges, but, um, yeah, so that's how I got my, my Nintendo DS, um, the year by this point was 2007, as I said, some of the first games I owned on it, Drawn to Life will always be nostalgic to me, um, I also had the Simpsons game, Nintendogs, and a Star Wars Lego game, those are the first four games that I got on DS, Nintendogs, Dalmatian, and Friends, by the way. Um, yeah, so, that's pretty much how I remember, that's the story, like, if I'd never gone to that house that day, I probably never would have gotten my DS, and that might not have led to the events that would happen next. So, yeah, um, just trying to think what I should say next, what the next step in the story is. I guess the next step is what happened the next Christmas. Okay, so for Christmas, I really wanted... This is the, um, thing that I actually said. I said I wanted either a PlayStation, a Wii, or an Xbox, so yeah. Because in my mind, those were like the three big console things. I guess they kind of are, but I don't know. So, um, and, you know, it's pretty obvious which one I ended up getting, if you've seen our other videos. Um, yeah. I wonder. My life would have been severely different if I'd gotten anything other than a Wii. If I gotten a PlayStation or an Xbox, I probably never would have become a huge Nintendo fan. 
Because I would have had the DS, but I wouldn't have had the Wii. And that would have been very weird in like some alternate universe. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is true, but it's it's I, I like it's kind of fun to believe. I'm not sure if I really believe this or not, but it's kind of a fun theory slash idea that like um like every different thing that could have happened is like its own alternate universe. I'm not sure if there are even alternate universes out there, but I don't know. A part of me wants to believe it, and basically. In an alternate universe where I had a PlayStation or an Xbox, things would have been went severely different. Um. So, I got a Wii for Christmas 2008. One year after I got my DS, because I got my DS in Christmas 2007, got the Wii Christmas 2008. And, um. And. Oh, yes, I definitely have to include this part of the story. So, um. I had seen commercials for Super Mario Galaxy on the TV, and I thought it looked really cool, so I asked for it for Christmas. Um, actually, actually, um, once I got it, oh, sorry, spoilers, <laughs> um, um, what, actually, I was gonna say it's kind of obvious, but then I realized there's no, actually no videos of that game on our channel, so it might not have been obvious, but, um, I mean, I was talking about it as if I was leading up to, and by the way, I got it, so, okay, no. What I was going to say, though, is that, um, yeah, I did end up getting Super Mario Galaxy on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, and, um, the thing is that, um, sorry, I had a mental blank there, the thing is that I didn't actually play it straight away, because I was too hooked on the Simpsons game Wii version, which I had just gotten for Christmas as well. But, yep, I did eventually play Super Mario Galaxy. And that was one of the two first Mario games I got, I ever owned. Because I, I didn't own any on the DS before that, for some reason. I wasn't a huge Mario fan until I was a little bit older. But, um... Yeah, the other Mario game that I got for um, Christmas that year, or Boxing Day, was Mario Kart Wii. That was a game I didn't even ask for, but I'm so glad I got it. Because if I had never gotten that game, I do not know where my life would be right now. <laughs> that sounded kind of melodramatic, I just meant I don't know what would have happened. Like, what things would have been severely different if I'd never owned Mario Kart Wii. Because, um, I got those two games at the same time. A friend, a family friend basically gave me those in a gift bag. They were both in the same gift bag at the same time on Boxing Day. And I got both of those. And both of those games have a special place in my heart because they are both so nostalgic to me. I've 100%ed both games, by the way. Well, unless you count getting like a 3-star ranking or 1-star ranking or whatever on every cup, which I have not, but... I've pretty much beaten both games. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, but Chicken Wing, this is all about how you got into gaming. What about Kitty Meow and Pasta Boy? Well, I'm getting to that. You see, okay. So, eventually, with Kitty Meow and Pasta Boy, I was the one who got them into video games as well. I'm pretty sure. So, um, so basically, I, me I have memories of trying to get Kitty Meow to play Mario Kart Wii. Um, I also... I'm trying to remember what else. I'm trying to make sure this is in order, this whole thing, the video is in order. Uh, like, chronological order, I mean. So, um, yeah. Basically, um, eventually we taught... So, yeah, it used to be mostly, um... Like, me and Kitty Meow would play stuff together, and eventually, eventually we got Pasta Boy to join in as well. And, um, yeah. Three of us are a great trio. And, um, we've been a great trio for years, so yeah. In about, um, oh, 
I should also try and- I, I almost forgot to- I almost completely skipped this chapter of the story. Um, yeah, so, if you're wondering how I- how we decided- well, basically, where the- where we decided to start- to start doing, um, let's plays or gaming videos, um, basically- yeah, I almost left this part of the story out, whoops. Luckily, I remembered it in time. So yeah, um, when I was younger, um, I I was obsessed with game with the game New Super Mario Brothers Wii, and I used to watch. Actually, it goes it dates back even farther than that. I used to watch videos of the Simpsons game on YouTube with like usually with no commentary. Sometimes some of them had comment. I used to watch various Simpsons related video games on on YouTube, and my family would always be like, what's the whole point in watching that? Like, it's not really fun, or something, I don't know, they didn't get it, lol. But, um, they still don't get it, lol. Um, anyway, so basically, um, I would watch those. So I'd be wa I actually watched Let's Plays for a lot longer than I thought, but I never thought of making my own ones at that point. But, um, I, I used to watch New Super Mario Bros. Wii videos a lot later, when, when New Super Mario Bros. Wii was new was actually new, and, um, yeah, I got- I ended up getting that game in 2010, so the year after it came out, um, and I- but I don't- I think maybe before it I don't remember if this was before or after I got the game, but- but I used to watch people play it on YouTube. There was one series that I don't even remember who- it, who the people were, it was like- it was like- there was a girl in the group, and there was guys there- I don't remember if there's one or two girls, but- but, or maybe three, but I, I, I don't really remember there being one girl, and, um, I don't know why that's, why, I don't think that's gonna help anyone decipher who the people were, but I just remember it was like four players who said Marvelous Wii. I watched that. I don't even remember who the people were now. I probably won't be able to find them. Um, but then there was this other, this other, um, thing that I, this other group of people I watched, it was on the channel Crash Dance 22 and they did, um, New Super Mario with Wii, they just did random stuff, I don't think it was a Let's Play, I don't remember. And then, I remember the end part of the video was so funny because, um, another video, it was, the end part of the series was so funny because it, they started using hacks, and it just ended with, with the Wii crashing, and they were all laughing about it. Why am I explaining this? This has nothing to do with Party Cats, I'm sorry. I don't know, I just went off on a tangent there. But that's me for you, that's Chicken Wing for you, just going off on a tangent all the time. This is what happens when you let me talk for long enough. I end up going off on a tangent about stuff. Anyway, so, um... But this is actually leading somewhere. I don't- I wouldn't start explaining about various Let's Players I've watched if I hadn't- if this wasn't actually going anywhere. Um... So basically, um... Uh, okay. So, the reason I mentioned Crash Dance 22's one is because then I, I was looking for it one day, but I couldn't remember the username. So, I think what I just did was search New Super Mario Bros. Wii 4 player or something, I don't know what I searched for now. And I ended up finding... Yep, I ended up finding out about the Runaway guys. And, yep. Um, so yeah. That's basically how, um... How I found out about them. So the first Let's Play I watched by them was New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I bet you're all wondering, when does this get to the bit about Party Cats? That's what I'm about to tell you. Okay, S but seriously, okay. And then I was wa I started watching other Let's Players as well, and um, like other groups or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I thought I want to do this, and but I didn't have a capture card, so. This is about 2012 now by this point. I was looking on, on like, YouTube and the internet and places. Oh, I don't even remember how I found out about it, but I, I must probably just do random Googling or whatever. And I found out about the Dazzle Capture Card. I, I really seriously take that thing for granted now. I, like, I really shouldn't. Like, there was a time when I didn't even have a way to record games at all. And I, was, I really wanted this Dazzle. And I found out later that apparently, um... We already had one in our family, but like, I don't know, but they, so they bought me one, but that's good because now we have two, and having two Dazzle Capture cards does have its advantages, especially when the person who owns one of them lets you borrow it, <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna elaborate on that for a while, um, anyway, 
Or maybe I will. <gasps> okay, but seriously. Um. Um, yeah. Actually, wait. I already used it. We already used two capture cards for, from one of our past videos. Uh, let's just, um. Well, anyway. Off topic. So basically, what happened was we got. I got a capture card for Christmas 2012. And it was fun. Like, it was a lot, a lot, it was not as easy as it is now. I used Pinnacle Studios to record. And it took me ages to figure out, like, actually I don't remember it took me ages, but I think it remember, it remember being a bit hard to, like, sync the audio. Yeah, it was always a pain to sync the audio, and sometimes the video would glitch or something. I don't remember. Maybe that was just that one time it did. I don't know, but anyway. So yeah, that's something that happened. We got that. Um, we used, we, and, and, um, so, us party cats, we, we didn't have our channel yet. As you know, we were not, we were not, we did not have our channel back in 2012. But what we did have was fun playing video games. Um, we would play a lot. We didn't always record it, but we at, at one point we did actually record some of our stuff. Um, it didn't get on Party Cats though. Again, before Party Cats time. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm trying to think. Where are we at in the story right now? We are. Okay, so this is about 2013 now that we are at. Um. I did not have a Wii U yet. It was out by this point, but I didn't have one yet. The Wii U really came out that long ago. Wow. Just think about how old I was when it came out. It's just hard to believe. Anyway, um. The reason this story seems to be kind of one-sided from my perspective is because th that's the only perspective I really know. I don't really know what things are like from Kitty and Pasta's perspective because like, I'm not them. I can't read their minds. So yeah, um, I guess this is just my point of view of how things happened. So um, I actually forgot where I was up to in the story. <laughs> I think we were in 2013, and I was yeah I was saying how the Wii U had not had had come out, but I did not have one yet. In fact, it seemed like every year there was always something I really really wanted. There's something I really really wanted a video game related. First, it was um, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I think was the first thing I kept asking for like a lot. Then it was Super Mario Galaxy 2, and then it was Super Mario 3D Land. And then it was, um, whatever else, I don't know. Then it was a Wii U. So yeah, well, it was a 3DS as well. Yeah, I really wanted the 3DS, and I got it in 2012. So, I don't know why I'm just explaining this whole gaming story. About, well, 3DS, we can't even record our, we can't, I can't even record my 3DS anyway. So yeah, um... So yeah, um, what happened next was, okay, so, we're, so we are, in this story we are in 2013, and this is when we started recording some of our stuff, but yeah, that stuff is really old and ancient and we said our real names in that, so, so yeah, that was a long time ago, so, what happened? I keep saying so. What happened? I keep saying that. Um. Okay. I'm just trying to think where we should. The next phase of the story. I guess we can skip to 2014. Um, 2014. In my opinion, it was. It started off really good and kind of got worse. And by the end of the year, it wasn't that great. But um. But anyway, one thing I wanted to say, at some point Kitty Meow got a 2DS, which I think broke, but I don't actually know if that's what happened or not, so don't quote me on that. Um, that's what I heard anyway, is that it stopped working for some reason. 
Um. Yeah, we used to play, um, three-player DS games together as well. Like, we used to play, like, Mario Kart and Bomberman on the DS. Because I had two DSs, so I let Pasta Boy play my old one. Um, and we would play DS games together. Um, so yeah. But... What, well, the other thing that happened in 2014, if I can remember what I was going to say. Yeah, I finally got a Wii U for Christmas. After two years, I finally got one. And I'm so glad I have a Wii U. A lot of things I have now that I really just take for granted. I take- I, I just- and I, it's really hard to imagine what life would have been like without the Wii. Without the Wii U, it wouldn't have been as extreme because I still would have been into Nintendo, but I wouldn't have a lot of the- I don't actually have that many Wii U games. Let me check how many Wii U games I have. Well, I have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Mario Kart 8, Mario Party 10, Nintendo Land, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Maker, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, and Yoshi's Woolly World, and New Super Mario Bros. U plus Super New Super Luigi U. I guess it's more than I thought. It's like nine games, ten if you count Luigi U as a separate game. And I have a few um, virtual console games on the Wii U. If I can just turn it on so I can look at them, even though I only have like four and I'm pretty sure you, I can remember them, but whatever, I'm turning it on anyway. These games that I had, I can just say them, I remember them all. Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart DS, and Kirby Superstar. Which, I have three of those on other things. Yeah, um... Yeah, Super Mario Kart I have on the SNES Classic and Kirby Superstar, but, you know, that I got that after the Wii U. And Mario Kart DS I already had on my DS, but I wanted to have it on the console so that we could record it at some point. Which I have done that on my solo channel. But, um, anyway. So 20, 2015, this is when things started getting really interesting. Because, as you may know, this is the year we started Party Cats. Not till near the end, but still. I'm not sure if I should mention this or not, but I guess I'll try to do it without saying too much. But, we had another channel. That I'm not going to tell you what it's called, but we did have another channel before, the, before Party Cats. But that didn't go too well. And then, after that, I was focusing on this other channel that kind of stressed me out because... You see, the thing is, I love doing group channels. I don't really- I not, don't have too much fun doing solo stuff. Sometimes it's fun, but it's not as fun as group stuff. So I really wanted to get- to get us three to, to do a channel again. Oh, but I, before that happened, I should probably mention that up to this point, I I had a few retro games on on Virtual Console, but like not that many. I think most of them are like Bomberman or something, and like um, what else? I don't know. But I didn't have very many different. Like I mostly, mostly, mainly had the Wii and the Wii U, and that was it. Well, console-wise. Um, and even though my Wii can play GameCube games, and I've, I'd already knew that, I'd known that for years, I never really thought to, um, actually buy any GameCube games. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. But I just didn't. And, um, so, um, but then this is when things started to change. 2015. Um... At school, um, one of my friends got Dolphin Emulator and started giving it to people, including me. And, um, basically what happened was- Why do I keep saying basically what happened? I keep saying that, like, seriously. Sorry, I just have a weird way of talking where I just repeat m myself if I can't think of what to say, because sometimes the words don't get to me fast enough. And it's also hard to be put on the spot, even though I know I can just cut out all the silences and the bits where I fail. But, I don't know, it's just hard. 
Yeah, I should just mention that I used to be a lot more awkward when it came to being, like, like, on recording. I mean, it's natural for that to happen at the beginning of your YouTube career or whatever. <laughs> um, but, um, I'd like to say I've improved a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard for me to talk right now in this video. I feel kind of, it's kind of awkward, like, me talking here. Because I'm just looking at a picture. Um, I'm not really, like, I don't know. I have my Wii U on so that maybe that would be easier. Because I find I'm better at talking when I'm playing a game. But I didn't actually play a game because I knew that would distract me. So I just had the Wii U on while I was talking, but that didn't really do anything, I don't know. Maybe it did, because I think I was a bit better at talking before, while I was on. I don't know how that works. Don't ask how it works, I really don't know. I always seem a lot more confident when I'm playing video games for some reason. I don't know why, I just am. Where was I in the story? 2015, we were start- I was starting to get more interested in older games, like retro games like GameCube and Nintendo 64, and that's what, yeah, so, meanwhile, um, this was towards the end of the year, now I think this is when all this happened, I don't actually remember what, at what point in the year, um, yeah, but I was saying how I really wanted to give, to, to have us three do stuff again, make a gaming channel again, and see how it goes this time, this time using, not using our real name. We basically, so basically, I was, this was literally, we're literally up to the creation of Podcasts now, like the day, actually, I think it was, I don't know if it's the day we made it, or the day before we made it, because, um, Kitty and Pasta were visiting for a few days, around Halloween of 2015, and, and we had to wait. I, I was waiting like all week to see if we'd be able to do that because I needed to ask them about it and stuff and ask if we should do that and the wait was agonizing. I will tell you that now. I am not very patient but I was probably worse back then maybe. I don't know. Um, I was I was worse back then I think I was, I don't know. So, I was waiting for several days. It was only a few days, but it seemed like forever to me. And, um, and then once, it was a Friday by this point, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check what day of the year, I mean, what day of the week. Let me just check, 2015, October. It would have been the 30th, because it was a Friday. Um, well... When they- when they arrived, I really- I just- I don't know. I don't remember how I felt anymore. I was probably nervous and stuff, because I'm always nervous. This is the thing, I get nervous when asking about my ideas to them. I don't know why, but I'm just not that great at, um, expressing, like, like, I'm good- I'm good at thinking of ideas, but I'm always worried that- that, that other people won't like them the people that I want to help me with the ideas. I'm always worried that they won't like the ideas that I thought of, even if I think they're cool. That actually translates over to my story writing as well. I always- I love the stories I write, but I'm always like, oh, what if this other person doesn't like it, or thinks of it differently? I don't know. We- we had a- like, everyone in the room- there were other people in the room too, by the way. Like, um, but we basically had this- we basically had this discussion about us starting our channel and like making sure we don't use our real names and stuff and yeah we were able to do that so that's really good and now we are in the first era what I like to call the first era of Party Cats 2015 to 2016 so um at the time we we were we were pretty good at, um, having meetups, we were having them frequently, and we were able to, 
record stuff. And at the time, we, um, I'm not sure how seriously, um, Kitty and Pasta take the channel as seri- I don't know if they take it as seriously as I do. Because I tend to take things very seriously when I'm really into them. So, I'm not sure how, um, what they were thinking, um, but I didn't, didn't, I kind of took, um, for the time we spent together for granted, and I always, it was always just customary or normal to, um, sorry, um, it was pretty normal to just, like, meet up every two weeks. Every two weeks! Yeah, um, that, that, that is something that used to be very, very, um, normal to us. And, well, anyway, don't get ahead of ourselves here. Um, so, when, when, okay. So, we started off with our very first, well, back, back then we didn't have unlimited time limit, and at, at the point, at that time, I wasn't even thinking of getting unlimited time. I was like, I, I didn't, I just wanted to do, like, short videos and split them up in, into parts if we had to. That was my plan. That was my plan, or my three years ago me me's plan. Three. That was three year three years ago chicken wings plan was just to do that, and um that was our plan to just have short videos. We started off with one of our favorite games that all of us know how to play, and we were all in pretty much equal skill level at just about roughly uh, Mario Kart Wii and we had the it was Mario Kart Wii video 1 and Mario Kart Wii video 2 because that thing was actually one long recording well no it wasn't that long but one recording that we split into two parts and we recorded that on Halloween I believe yeah we recorded it on Halloween I can't remember if we recorded it before or after we went trick-or-treating well, yeah, I was gonna say that back then, we didn't record as much in one day, because back then we had more time to do stuff. The next day, we recorded more Mario Kart Wii. We did the Hyper Edition, and then we did Smash Brothers the same day. So this is we're in the 1st of November by this point. Mario... Then, then um... And then we basically just, the videos, other videos we did that year, um, in November we did, me and Pasta Boy did Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, and then all three of us in December did Mario Kart 8 online videos, because I really wanted to do online Mario Kart 8 for some reason. And I got so frustrated trying to figure out how to change the me of the thing, the license, or not the license, the Wii U's player me or whatever. Um, and then, this led us to our, then after that we did our first retro video game on, on our channel. Okay, so, remember how I said I was really getting into GameCube and N64 games, mostly GameCube games, um, back then, um, well, I asked for Mario Kart Double Dash for Christmas, which I did not get, unfortunately. I have it now, but I didn't get it then. Um, and instead I received a gift, a, um, eShop card, because the people who gave it to me thought that Double Dash was on eShop, which it is not, by the way. But I, I'm, I was pretty sure that it wasn't, but I decided, oh, maybe they're right, maybe it is, because I don't know why I thought that. But anyway, so I looked. And, of course, it wasn't there. But I found Super Mario Kart. I'm like, hey, we should try that. So I got that. Um, and me and Pasta Boy played that. Uh, Pasta Boy didn't, didn't even remember that we played that. But we did. And, um... It, that was literally... When we recorded that, that was literally the, the day that we f both had tried it for the first time. We didn't record the very first time we played it. But we recorded it the same day that we, that we first tried it. It was like, uh, literally like, maybe like 10 minutes after our first try, maybe not that short, maybe a bit longer than that. But anyway, um... 
that's basically um our first retro game. The first retro game of podcast was Super Mario Kart. And and then that's what ended off 2015 for us. That was two days after Christmas that we recorded that. Um, now, now we're into 2016, and this is when things kind of get weird. Um, 2016, maybe a lot, maybe people don't know. Um, anyway, I'll just, I'll just start from the beginning of 2016. The beginning of 2016 was alright. Um, we did a couple of Super Mario Maker videos. You see, back, back in the day... Kitty Meow and Pasta Boy, they both loved making custom stages in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and I did too. And then they also liked doing it in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U for a brief time. So then when Super, Mar Mar when Super Mario Maker was announced, I'm like, yes, I know they'll like this game, I'm gonna, I want, I'm gonna ask for it for Christmas. So I asked for it, and I got it for Christmas 2015. That's, you know, um, in the Super Mario Kart video, when me and Pasta Boy are talking about how we got this new game that was all epic and it was so cool and we were gonna record it. Yep, that was Super Mario Maker we were talking about. We didn't say it in the video because it was supposed to be a surprise. So yeah. Um. And Super Mario Maker. And I was right, they did like that game. They both like it more than I do. Like, I, I like it. But I'm not like... Like, literally... Usually, um... Whenever they came over, at least one of them wanted to play, make a level in Mario Maker. Um, yeah. So that was a good call that I made there. Um, yeah. Then I had a weird idea that was kind of pointless. Buy a second copy of Mario Kart Wii so we could do- Remember that video, Versus Mario Kart Wii Mushroom Cup? Um, that was a weird video. It's like why? It's like basically, I wanted to do the a versus type thing, but it's like why? Why not just do a versus race? Like why not just do a a two players on the same console? I don't know what the point of that was, but anyway, we did that. I actually sold my second copy now so that we can get money back because I needed money for something. I don't remember what. Um. Anyway. So yeah, that was interesting and weird at the same time. That was the thing we used the two capture cards for. And it was so much harder back then. Because we used to use we used to use different programs for the audio and the video. And different programs in general than what we use currently. Um I used two different computers for that. A laptop, a really old Windows Vista or whatever it was, laptop. And, actually, my computer at the time was Windows Vista as well. Anyway, um, uh, don't ask why I had a Windows Vista in 2016, I do not know. Um, well, actually, I got it in 2013, or was it 14? I don't remember which one. Um, anyway. So, basically, what happened next was, um, the Mar- the Mar- What's it what's called? The the Mushroom Cup versus Mario Kart Wii thing. That was done. One of the laptop was running was recording with AM Capture, and really a really old version of AM Capture. And the computer was recording with I believe Pinnacle Studios, from what I remember. I had this like whole list written out on like how to record with various like how like like basically a a, a list I made myself to remind myself a certain way to make the, the AM capture, I had to put dot .avi at the end of the name so that it wouldn't, so that it would, would save quicker or something, or save straight away, or make sure that it was the right file type, and like, it was just so convoluted, like it was like, it, it, I don't know, it was a lot more complicated to do it back then. So then, we did another Mario Maker video. I don't know I'm just doing it, walking you through like each video, it's like, oh no, we did this video, no, we did this, I don't know why I'm doing that, but, I don't know, just to get a, a look at the timeline, I guess. Um, then we did a Mario Maker video, like, the day after that. And, then, um, 
the next thing was made on my birthday. Not uploaded, it was uploaded like a different day because we didn't have Wi-Fi. I'm pretty sure that's the reason was because we didn't have Wi-Fi straight away because I had actually moved house. And that's why we didn't have Wi-Fi for a while. But we did make a video that um, on my birthday which is the Mario Party 10 video. And... Yeah. And then, if you look at the upload date of that in the next video, you'll probably be wondering, what happened next? Tell us! Well... I'm not sure how I can explain this without saying too much. Um... Because I am always end up saying the same thing in those update videos. I'm like, oh, personal stuff, can't say. I'm like, I say that every time. And, well, that's really, um, let me just think for a minute how I can put this. After a while, um, for the, after the birthday thing happened, we basically, um, Kitty and Pasta weren't visiting for a while after that. They visited in... Um, April, I believe, but we didn't- we weren't able to record stuff then. And then, in the middle of the year, we went to- we went bowling for Pasta Boy's birthday, and things were very weird then. I don't know how to explain it. Everyone watching probably doesn't even know what I'm talking about. It took a while. From my point of view, things... I was very impatient. I was not at the best point place in life. Don't worry, I wasn't suicidal or anything. Don't worry about that. Um, But I was just not very happy with, with stuff most of the time. Um, basically, um... Yeah, um, what happened? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think. Yeah, um, I was upset because we weren't able to... I. It's not just that we weren't able to make stuff, but it was also just the fact that... That, that I hadn't really seen either of them in a while. And, like, I only got to see them a few times between the beginning of the year and the end of the year. And also, I had some ideas back then that I wanted to do, and we never got to- we didn't do those. We didn't end up doing those ideas that I was gonna do. And so, um, that was not good. And also, some school friends weren't at the best place in life either, so I kind of like absorbed some of their depression or whatever, I guess. I don't know if this video is getting like- too personal for me, but from, from my, like, life, but I don't know. I'm not really saying much, really. I'm just saying how I felt. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, let's see, um, okay. Now, um, like, for a while, we didn't know what was like we didn't we didn't really know anything for a while and then um there was hope for a while there was a lot of false hope because we were supposed to see the I was supposed to see them then I didn't I I think from what I remember there was a lot of that going on but then by um by when it was almost Christmas of 2016, that is when- I completely forgot to mention something, by the way. I'll mention that in a minute. Whoops. Um. Actually, I'll mention it now. Okay, so basically, um, I have to go back, like, a year because I forgot something. Sorry. I am so unorganized. I'm so sorry. Um, so around the time, right after the second Mario Maker video, I believe it was, not right after, like- it was between that and- actually, was it? Let me just check for a minute. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was between Mario Maker Part 1 and- I mean, Mario Maker Part 2 and- and- 
versus Monaco in Mushroom Cup. Between those two, um, there was another period where we where they I wasn't seeing Kitty and Pasta for a bit because because as I said, move, like getting ready to move house. And so um so I did, I got impatient then too. Impatient and it wasn't even that long compared to what I'm used to now. Um so I basically made my solo channel Super Chicken Wing 99. Originally it was just called Super Chicken Wing, which later at some point I made the name Chicken Wing 99. Then I changed it again to Super Chicken Wing 99. Basically what happened is um is I made that channel as to have something to keep myself occupied while while um waiting for uh, more opportunities to do party cats and that's what I did. So that's what happened. So so I made that channel and I did stuff on that channel. I did my own gaming stuff. But it wasn't it w of course it wasn't as fun as doing party cats, but it was still all right, I guess. Um and I did stuff on my solo channel in 2016 in the absence of Party Cats. And hey, Party Cats has always been a bigger priority to me than my solo channel. Like, there's been times where I go months without doing my solo channel. Let me just check when the last thing I uploaded actually wasn't that long ago, it was only like a couple of, few weeks ago. But before that, I hadn't uploaded in like a month. Or almost two months. At, like,. I mean, from now. Like. Anyway. Okay. So. What happened next? Okay, back to the present. Not the present. The present would be 2018. But I meant the, the part of the story I was up to. Um, Christmas 2016. This time there was hope. There was hope because, um because we were actually able to have Kitty and Pasta visit um, on Boxing Day 2016. And that is... And... I mean, it was a very awkward conversation once they arrived. Like, okay, well actually the visit almost got cancelled, but then it didn't, so that's good. Um, and... It was very- I was very awkward at trying to, like, ask them if they wanted to do Party Cats again. Because, like, I didn't know if either of them still cared about it or remembered it. Because it had been that long, and- And Pasta- it took Pasta a minute to remember what I- what we were talking about, what I, what I meant, but- But Kitty remembered. Luckily, they both still decided to do it. Um, at that point. Um... And then, in, so yeah, we did, we did a video in 2016, the Christmas special. And we played, that was the first game that I played, um, involving, um, the first game that, sorry, not the first game, sorry. I meant the first video that we made that involved multiple games in the same video. Because... I thought that was... I didn't, um... Basically, I got the idea... Okay, so this uh, this is another thing that I... I keep forgetting to mention things, like seriously, I'm, I'm not even focused, apparently. So, I think it was about... I want to say September, I don't know if that was it or not, but around September 2016, I was like starting to get more into watching videos of Mario Kart 64 for some reason. Um, I was really obsessed with Mario Kart that year for some reason. Kind of coming back to that a little bit, but maybe not to that extreme. Anyway, so if I had never done the following thing I'm about to say, I would have never discovered Tanuki Toe Team. And this is the thing that I did that made me discover them. I searched up videos of like Mario Kart 64 multiplayer, and then I went to like upload date newest or something, like the the most recent one uploaded, and. I don't remember what month it was. I thought it was September, but I can't remember. It was it was whatever month they uploaded that 
battle video. The new one, not the old one. Um, the one that, that they did in 2016. And, yeah, and then I discovered that channel. So yeah, um, I'm so glad I did, though. And, because, because that, that channel has, like, been an inspiration. And, yeah. So, so when I... So yeah, somehow I was able to gain inspiration, and I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say. Something about I don't know, but the, oh yeah, I was gonna. Uh, that's right. The, what made me remember that was that um, that's also where I got the idea to do multiple games in the same video, because they did that in some of their videos, and also. Another thing is that, is that they were able to, um, well, we were able to, I, it, it, I, I just, uh, can I speak, please? Um, and just over the course of time, I was able to think more outside the box, like, each year I think more outside the box, I guess. Um, yeah, so... So yeah, that's, that's, um, something that happened, was discovering Tanuki Toe Team. Can't leave that part out of the story. Um, yeah, so, so I have to thank the Tanuki Toe Team for the help. Um, so, so yeah, and that's basically what ended off what I like to call the first era of Party Cats. Now, the second era of Party Cats, um, I'm not sure, but I think I like to make these eras a bit smaller in my mind. Um, the next era of Party Cats was between April and July of 2017. Now, okay, so April and July, there was a total of like, um, I'm trying to, lo I'm looking at, it, I'm trying to count, seven videos uploaded over that course of time. Um, there was two in April. There was the Mario Wii Mushroom Cup 3 player thing, and then there was the Easter special, which also consisted of multiple games in the same video. And, in, in July, there was the Blindfolded Challenge 2, and, um, yeah, that's what happened, was, um, we made, we made all those. And, in the, in April, this was when things were starting to look hopeful again. Things are starting to look hopeful again, as we all got to do do a couple of videos in April, and only for one day. They were uploaded on different days, but I actually we actually made them on the same day. Um, then the July videos. J July is when something important in my mind was that I realized that we were capable of recording a lot more in one day than than I previously had thought. We recorded five videos that day. One of them was very short, but still. Um, the blindfolded challenge, that was actually something that, I don't remember how I thought of that idea now, I think I just wanted to do that for some reason. Thought it'd be a cool idea, I don't remember. There's probably some reason that I thought of that, but I can't remember what it was. I'm sorry. Um, and Family Game Night, I believe that was the first time we recorded Family Game Night, yeah it was. Which is a game that Kitty Meow really likes for some reason. Um, I don't remember, like... I think I just got- we just got that game for like, Christmas or someone's birthday, I don't know. Like, it's my game, so. Um, um, yeah. Bomberman Blast, that was also a new game that we never recorded any Bomberman before. Which apparently Kitty Mail doesn't like that game very much, but yeah. I don't know, but um, that video was just me and Pasta Boy playing. Um, the thing is, the reason that there's so many videos that have people- that have 
Kitty Meow not playing in them. Um, that's because, I guess it's because Kitty Meow's not as into, quite as into video games as me and Pasta Boy are. Sometimes she's, um, doing Mario Maker, like, while we're recording. Or reading. Yeah, um, the Winter Special, I thought it would be cool to record something that I did not, that was not a game that I owned. So, that, the Winter Olympics Mario and Sonic, that was Pasta Boy's game. And, yeah, the first era of Party Cats, what things were like behind the scenes, I guess, was... It was pretty hopeful at that point. Um, yeah. At some point- oh yeah, I didn't mention this, but around April- I don't know, no, it wasn't April, sorry, it was- And it was between December and April, I started drawing custom thumbnails for all of our videos. Actually, it might not have been that- it might have been earlier than that, it might have been still 2016 when this happened, I don't know. Actually, wait, no, I think it was after the Christmas. I don't remember when, I'm sorry. I'll check the discussion tab, because that's why I mentioned it. Because there was an update announcement that I made at some point that said custom thumbnails are being created for all of our past and future videos. Chicken Wing has been working hard on drawing them today at school. So far, there are custom thumbnails for Mario Kart Wii, Smash Brothers, and Mario and Sonic. Expect the rest to be made by the end of the week. That was recorded one- not recorded. Posted at least one year ago. We only have the Christmas one left, so that'll probably be done tomorrow. So, I'm guessing it- what? That could be ended. Yeah, I, I'm guessing it was, that was last year. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, um, things- so yeah, with the custom thumbnails, and at one point I- I decided to drop the custom thumbnails and just have gameplay thumbnails, but then I- I- I like, really recently I decided I'll bring them back, because I thought they were- cool and they made us- they made our channel unique because it got to show my art style or something, I don't know. Next era of Party Cats, that was August to November or something, I guess. Or August to December before Christmas, yeah. That was a short era. Well, I mean, in terms of how many videos, I guess I should say. Um, that era- consisted of Pasta Boy's birthday special, um, our game night special, our two year anniversary special, because we never got to make a one year anniversary, but we did get to make two year anniversary, which is really cool, we, and Kitty Meow birthday special, and I guess arguably the Great Moments montage and the Potty Cats Q&A. Well, definitely the Potty Cats Q&A, because that was, that was all of us in that video, so yeah. Great Moments Montage was something I put together and put on my own channel, and then put it on Party Cats, this channel as well. So yeah, um, so, yep, we did those, and it was, it was really cool, of course it was, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, and by this point we were using AM Capture to record a newer version of it, that was on my new computer that I got for Christmas 2016, which is the one I use now. And, um, we were doing some awesome stuff in 2017. And that- I'm trying to think what things were like behind the scenes. Oh yeah, at this point we were starting to figure out a regular schedule for us to do stuff. A regular schedule every six weeks we were able to do to record stuff that was a lot better than like every like three months because between April and July that's three months the next era of party cats is one of my favorites I mean I love all the eras of party cats but but um this is this is the most recent one um Boxing Day or Christmas 2017 to January 2018. Um, this is when we recorded a lot of stuff. We realized how much we were able to record in one day. We recorded about like nine, like about around about nine videos in one day um, on the 29th of December. But before that, we recorded. Okay, so back in November we recorded the Mushroom Cup of Mario Kart 64, and this time we were, and then the, and then the unboxing day we recorded the other three cups. That made for a really epic video. 
so you should definitely go check that out if you haven't already. Um, the other, then we did other stuff like, oh that's right, um, originally that was going to be just a New Year's special, and then I decided to, to, um, use this idea by the Tanuki Toe team, the, um, 12 Days of Christmas series. In that series we decided, I decided we should make the New Year's Eve special day one, and then, and we were actually able to borrow a Nintendo 64 as well for that, and for most of that video was played on the actual N64, but some of it, the beginning part was on the Wii. Anyway, um, so yeah, then we did day two, which was the Mario Tennis video, and which was another first time game on our channel. We also played New Super Mario Bros. Wii in the two year anniversary and, and in Katie Meow birthday special we played New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And on game night, in, fam in the Party Cats game night we played Family Game Night and also Mario Kart 64, the Japanese version. And the reason we played the Japanese version is probably, it, not problem, probably, it, not probably, it definitely is because we didn't have enough controllers to play the actual English version so I had to use a different version that allow Wii Remote and Nunchuck support, but now we have enough controllers so it's not a problem. Um, we did Mario Maker, which was day three, and it was really long, it was in like three parts. And we also, I did a channel trailer at some point, and we also did, me and Pasta also did some videos, two player videos, of Mario Kart Wii, and we did day four, which was Double Dash, and that was the first time we played Double Dash on this channel. And this was a really fun time because, like, it was a pretty epic Christmas and Boxing Day type time of the year. We did- oh yeah, and then Pasta Boy brought over a game that he got for Christmas, which was Mario and Sonic at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Well, that's not the actual name of the game, but, you know, that's basically what it is. Um, and we did some other stuff, like, and lastly, for that- for that time, there was Pasta Boy playing Mario Kart Wii by himself, which I decided, because at this point I was thinking that I really wanted to be able to, at this point I was starting to, to realize that we should seize every opportunity to record stuff, no matter how out of the blue it seems. So I was thinking, you know what, you know what, if we're going, we don't have, we have limited time together now. We only get like one day every like however much time apart in between visits. So I was like, you know what, let's just seize every opportunity and record like pretty much anything that we play together. Because this is to create memories. I think it's fun um, to watch us grow and stuff. Um, so that's why I, um, he was gonna play it, and I'm like, hey, can I record this? And he's like, okay, so yeah. Um, so it went something like that, anyway. Um, basically, um, I was just writing commentary for that. Then, the next, then January, so those were uploaded throughout January, um, even though they were made in December. And then the the there was a few more videos made in, in actually in January. That's like one or two of them. A couple of them ended up being uploaded um, in February. Actually, three of them were uploaded. Wait, what? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. It was mostly Jan or late January to early February that these were uploaded. The some more Mario Kart Wii videos by me and Pasta Boy, and then the last thing we recorded together at this point in time was Mario Party 8 with three players. Um, that was our day five video, five golden stars. And then after that, I really need a drink. Then after that, we just recorded, um, so we, we just, um, I we weren't able to do anything for a while. Um, 
And then, this is the, the thing, the kind of frustrating part. Um, it was about March. I was told that at the beginning of April, we would get to see each other again. And we were able, and we would be, and I had all these epic ideas that I really wanted to ask them about. Including day six of the Christmas series. And some other epic stuff that I still want to do, by the way. And I'm going to make sure it happens. Because it will be really fun. Um, so, in preparation, first I finished off my Yoshi's Woolly World Let's Play on my solo channel. Um, which I think may or may not have helped my commentary, I don't know. Um, probably helped it to some degree. We did the... I, I put together two, two parts of a fail montage. I thought it'd be funny to make a fail montage, and most of those are my fails, because apparently I just love to self-deprecate. <laughs> and, um... And then I, I randomly put up a Kitty Meow's Mr. Potato Head song, which was basically compiled from one of our videos. Um, and then, this is the other frustrating part, which I'm about to say. Okay, so you may have noticed that I was that I was hyping up April and calling it April Hype, quote unquote. And how I uploaded an intro that was published on April 1st of 2018. And that was that was our intro that we were going to use for our new videos. And I was really excited too. I was really excited. And and you know what? As you may notice, as you may have seen, there's no videos that uploaded after that. And yeah. Basically, we were not able to do we we're not able to do stuff then. And you know, I know people watching this are probably like, oh, we've heard all this with like every other Let's Player who said stuff like this, but you guys don't know the half of it. I, I, the, uh, I just, I can't really say anything more, really. But, um, yeah, talked with Tanuki Toad on Twitter, like, yesterday, and at this point that I'm recording it, and, um, And he helped with some positive advice, even though he doesn't really know what's going on either, but it still helped. And like, I guess just anything positive will help at this point. It's hard to be positive when you're surrounded by people who, are, who aren't very positive, but, but when you are surrounded by people who are positive, then it's easier to be positive. And that's definitely a true fact and um yeah so that that is yeah I'm just trying to think of what to say now that's basically where where we're at right now where we're at right now let's just set the scene um it, as I re record this, it is 28th of May, 2018. It has just hit noon. I don't know why the time of day counts, but... Um... And... Oh, and the other thing was that... That... It was also hype because... 
of XSplit recording and getting a program recommended by Tanuki Toad called XSplit. And, um, I really want to use that program too. Like, I really want to be able to start doing potty cats again. But, in every update video, I'm always saying the same thing. Trying to stay hopeful. I mean, I do feel hopeful right now, but who knows. Maybe, maybe I'll find out after recording this some bad news. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't, there won't be any news to hear after, like, for a while. But... This is just where we stand right now. Is just at a kind of a neutral state, but still hoping, I guess. And actually, for like a whole month between like April and May, I even like stopped doing my solo channel and shifting focus onto other things like my stories and stuff. And that definitely. Um, cause I was just that, like, I, it just looked that dark to me, but then I, then I kind of was able to come back to it. I don't know, I guess something in me just, that something in me just kind of sparked up again, and I was thinking, you know what, I think we'll be able to do this. I just, I, I feel like we should be able to continue. So yeah, I want to thank everyone who has supported us, and, um, yeah, um, I've been recording this for, like, over an hour, and I need a drink, and I might want to eat something, I don't know. Don't know why this matters to anyone watching, but the bit about eating and drinking, I mean, I don't know why that matters. But, but, um, yeah, I have to edit this thing too, but, you know, at least it'll be another upload and it might put things a bit more in perspective, maybe, I don't know, maybe you won't gain any new knowledge about what's going on because, like, there's really nothing more I can say that, that isn't, like, too personal, but, I don't know. But yeah, um... Did I mention that I got a SNES Classic for Christmas as well? I think I did. So yeah, um... So thanks everyone. And... Hopefully... Hopefully you enjoyed this story. And even in those darker times, I'll try to stay positive. Might be hard. Might lose my um, optimism at times, but I always believe in this channel. I always do. Well, sometimes I lost my belief in it a couple times, but I always make sure to get that belief back because I'm not letting us give up. I don't give up that easily.